there, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm so excited to have you here with me today for my take on great neutral spring outfits. And basically neutrals are any color that is sort of not a color, white, black, brown, tan. If you want to go into a lime green or an orange, this is not the video for you. And I will say, do shop your closet for these items. Most of the items in this video are super basic and you probably have a lot of them in your own closet. And I'm all for shopping your closet first. That is so important. Okay, these are the neutral clothing items we'll be looking at in the video today. And there is that classic blue and white striped shirt. I accidentally added that into the video and then realized it's such a great shirt that I kept it in. And here are these shoes and the handbags except for we have two woven handbags over there. All of these clothing items will make up our outfit in our neutral spring wardrobe. The first outfit I'm going to be showing is actually kind of a neutral and kind of not a neutral, but it starts with this wonderful Uniqlo t-shirt. And if you followed my channel, you know that I absolutely love this very beefy cotton t-shirt. And uh, for some reason they went on sale for like, well, I won't tell you how much cause you'll hate it if they're $19 now. But anyway, I ended up with five or seven of these and they last forever. Not all white. I've got them in several different colors, but it has this little t-shirt and the jewelry that I'm wearing and all of the jewelry is listed below. It is Amazon and look at that great watch. That is a fossil two-toned watch with a CZ bezel, which I absolutely love. Okay, and then on the bottom, this is not a neutral color. However, everybody loves jeans and they are a classic in your wardrobe, but these are my absolute favorite jeans that I get from Amazon. I have loved them for the past three years. And if you're trying to get yourself out of skinnies, these are a great alternative. These are the Levi's 724 high rise straight jeans and they are straight and they fit absolutely beautifully. These are in a very light wash and I will link them below. And on my feet, I have these fantastic Madewell tennis shoes. These are 100% leather. So if you have an event coming up where you need some great white leather tennis shoes, I guess they call them trainers across the pond. These are from Amazon and they can be at your door very quickly. Now the next outfit is exactly like the first outfit, but I have layered it with something that makes it a little bit less casual. And this is the Everlane tan blazer. They've had this for years. It is an absolutely gorgeous, good quality blazer. I love it. And with regard to blazers, I like to casual them down by rolling up the sleeves. And in another video, I mentioned that you could use hair ties to do that. And then I realized that if you're past a certain age, you should never use hair ties to tie up your sleeves because I did that and I got these huge red marks, these big red circles around each arm and they didn't go away for like a day, which was really not too much fun. But how I hold the sleeves back on blazers and also on button down shirts or any shirts is that I use these little sleeve garters and they have them in sets of three from Amazon. I think this set has gold, silver, and black. They really do work and they don't make you look like a marked up old lady. Okay, my next outfit features white jeans and I think every woman in spring and summer really needs some white jeans. I say that understanding that until this year, I didn't have any because I kind of thought they made me look fat, but I really do like them. I think white jeans says spring and summer so beautifully and they really are lots of fun. And I got these from Uniqlo and they're white cotton jeans and they're baggies and I really do like them and I'll link them below. And I have gone ahead and accented this neutral outfit with black. And you've probably seen this belt a zillion times in my videos, but this is the Ralph Lauren black leather reversible belt. It reverses from cognac to black and I have it on the black side. And then on my feet, I have these fantastic shoes from Dream Pairs. And for those of you who aren't familiar with Dream Pairs, they are the most comfortable shoes you will ever wear. Plus they are super stylish and they are very inexpensive, which is wonderful but these are black wedges and they have the, the cushioned insole, which is what helps to make them so comfortable. And these have the very on-trend braids right now. Braids are huge for 2023. And I really don't think it's a trend. I think it will continue for at least the next few years. And then I'm wearing these great Amazon sunglasses. They are retro designer sunglasses and they're totally black and they have total UV protection. I think they're absolutely gorgeous and I think they're only about $15. I plan to take these sunglasses on the cruise that Alan and I will be going on soon. And then I am so excited about this new Ava purse. This is the Teddy Blake 11 inch Ava gold purse 
gold because of the gold hardware. Isn't that beautiful? It has a little gold zipper back there. I love the little lock and key that, that it has. And actually, this purse is kind of funny because Teddy Blake sponsored one of my videos maybe three weeks ago, and they were going to give me a small amount for the sponsorship. And I said, you know, I like your purses so much. Can I have a purse instead? And so hopefully in the future, they will pay me out on sponsorships and purses because I am getting obsessed with their purses. But this is the 11 inch, which is a little smaller size. And I have to admit, I went on their website last night because I love this so much. I'm thinking that I want the Ava 14 inch as well in the black, and I'll probably have to buy that one myself, but I will use my discount code, which is below the video. Well, neutrals are so wonderful because they largely mix and match, and if you have a closet full of neutrals, you're never going to be without something to wear. But basically, I have taken that last outfit and added this gorgeous Zara bomber jacket. Absolutely love this. I don't know if you can see the texture on that. It's absolutely beautiful. I love the stand-up collar and the beautiful kind of dropped sleeves. This is wonderful for those spring and or summer evenings where you really want to go sleeveless, but you want the option of some warmth when you need it. Okay, in this next outfit, first you may notice that my hair is different. Basically, why I look different is I completed this video yesterday and I went to edit it and I could not find one piece of, of this, of the stand-up, they call it. And I realized that I probably did not hit record. So in the meantime, after I edited that video, at first I thought, oh, I'll just leave that part out. But it turns out it is the most beautiful outfit of any of them in this whole video and I just couldn't leave it out. And so basically yesterday afternoon, I went and got my hair cut. She, she glassed it is what I, what I say. When my stylist professionally blow dries my hair, it is so sleek that it won't do anything. So I couldn't curl it. So anyway, do you like my haircut? Okay, let's get into this. And I love this outfit. And this outfit again features the white Amazon tee. Love that. And I've added the Ralph Lauren reversible belt. This one is in white and navy and the white side is showing. And I also have the Express Bermuda shorts in ivory, really nice. But the star of the show is this gorgeous blazer from Zara. And I absolutely love this. It is a fully lined blazer. I don't know if you can see that. It is belted and I'm showing it belted right now, which I think looks absolutely gorgeous. They also have ivory pants that can go with it, black pants, pink pants. They also have this in the fuchsia pink and it is gorgeous, love this. I'm showing it belted and then I have it paired with this gorgeous sandal. And again, this is like my favorite style of sandal right now. I love a lot of dream pair of shoes, but these are great ones. Now let me go ahead and remove the belt on that blazer so you can take a look at how it looks unbelted. And I think that blazer is absolutely fantastic. It can be dressed down with jeans or shorts. You can really make it as formal as you want to. And I think it is just super, super classy. Okay, this next outfit features again, those Express Bermuda shorts in the ivory color. And then I have it paired with this Amazon white tee, which is very similar. It's, in fact, it's exactly the same as this black tee and that brown tee, but love this Amazon tee in white. And then I wanted to kind of upgrade that outfit a bit. So I'm using this Ralph Lauren belt. And this is again, one of those reversible belts. This is navy blue on one side, which I didn't think I would use, but I'm starting to use it. It's amazing. And kind of an off-white on the other, and it has the gold buckle, which I really like. And then in terms of a purse, I have this wonderful Amazon woven tote. It's very large in size. It is zipped on the top, so you never have to worry about somebody stealing anything. And unfortunately, it has a little tassel on it, a cognac leather look tassel that hangs down. And for some reason I have lost it, which makes me really sad. I just looked in the purse and it is not in there. I need to go looking around the bedroom where I store these things. But anyway, that's a great purse. And again, I have on these Amazon retro sunglasses, which I think look so movie star and so cool. And I love the fact that they are so inexpensive. And then on my feet, I again have my favorite dream pair of sandals. Oops, dropped something. These are the beige version of the cognac ones I just showed you. Again, they have that gorgeous chunk heel and see this, this is very on trend as well. And it has the little straps across and I love the comfort of the dream pair of shoes. Okay, in this next neutral outfit, it again features that Amazon white halter tee, and it has some of the best pants, in my opinion, that are on the market right now. In fact, these are so good that I will probably make a video specifically about them, because if you want to get into the wider leg pants, these are not pleated, and as such, they make you look long and lean. 
and I must have these in four or five colors. In fact, if you'd like me to make that video of styling these pants, please let me know because these are some of my favorites. And these are in a color, I don't know, it's kind of a stone color. Really love that neutral. I think something about this color just looks really, really classy. And again, I have it paired with a very upscale looking belt. This is an ink incorporated black, I don't know if it's leather. Yes, it is a black leather belt, but it is stretchy in the back, which I really like because you can wear it at your waist or you can bring it down on your hips. And another tip that I have is that in any of these halter top sweaters, I often add a belt and it really does upgrade the look. And, and in fact, yesterday I had the blue version of this on, the royal blue, and I wore this around, which I thought really looked great. And to give that outfit even more quiet elegance, I have, again, the Teddy Blake Black 11-inch Ava Gold purse. Gold means hardware, but look at that gorgeous pebble grain leather. And for those of you who aren't aware about leathers, I've learned this over time, but pebble grain leather is the Italian leather that actually has the longest life. It almost is indestructible. Just like the beige version of the Ava purse that I showed you earlier, after three years, it looks brand new. And I know this one well as well. And then on my shoes, I again have the super comfortable dream pair of shoes. These are black wedges and I love these. They have very classic straps, an ankle strap and one across your instep. Love the wedge. For some reason, it doesn't feel like a high heel, which is very nice. It feels more stable than that. And most importantly, I love the fact that these are so darn comfortable. In fact, last year, I remember when plastic sandals were so in, I ordered maybe three or four pairs from the drop and they were great for an hour, and then I was really in pain, and so I never wear those. In fact, I gave them to a friend. Maybe, maybe she can do better than I did, but these dream pairs are super comfortable, and again, they're available from Amazon. Okay, in this next outfit, I have on that same last outfit, but again, I've decided to formalize the look a little bit with this gorgeous brown blazer from The Drop, and this is super highly rated. It's a bestseller in terms of blazers. It is fully lined, which I really like. It has the one button, which I really like that. I never like double-breasted blazers, that kind of thing, because they make us look heavy. But this is long and lean and gives you that long, slender line, which I really appreciate. Also, this blazer comes in a myriad of different colors. And so if you're looking for a white one, an off-white one, an orange one, you can find any color in this that you want. And with those stone-colored trousers, I think black looks beautiful. And these are the Dream Pairs Suede Black Mules. Mules, is that what they're called? I think they're mules. Are they mules? Let me know in the comment section if these are mules. For some reason, I'm, I'm having a menopause moment here. And these are totally made in beautiful black suede. Very, very supple. I wear these all the time. They're great work shoes. That's primarily where I've been wearing them. And I really like them because they are super comfortable. Again, they have that Dream Pairs patented insert, which really makes them super easy to wear. Now, I pre-filmed these outfits yesterday, and I put this white shirt in there because I absolutely love it. It's from Banana Republic. It is blue and white, and really, it is not strictly a neutral, but it is such a classic that I thought I would go ahead and leave it in this video. This is a fantastic shirt. Everyone needs a blue and white striped shirt in their spring wardrobe and or summer wardrobe, and this is wonderful. And again, I have it paired with the same Zara pants. Absolutely love these. I need to put them together here. These are the ankle length straight pants in a gorgeous tan color or camel color. And as you can see, although they have little darts there, they do not have any pleats. So they keep us looking long and lean. And to kind of casual this outfit down, I'm wearing some of my favorite dream pair of sandals. And I have these in black and white. And whenever I'm wearing jeans, depending upon my outfit, 90% of the time, I'm just pulling these out. They're absolutely gorgeous. They have the white woven look and then they have little bits of bling around the outside. And I love this cognac color that's inside. I think the way Dream Pairs design these shoes is quite neutral and very flexible with your wardrobe. Now, I again have on that classic blue and white striped Banana Republic shirt, but I've added these wonderful express shorts. And these really aren't Bermudas, but they're nice and long. I really like them. And they are in a faux leather, kind of an ivory, tannish, beige-ish faux leather. And they do come with the self belt, which is wonderful. I haven't worn these yet because here in Kansas, it's still a bit cold. But I think being in the faux leather really makes them look kind of super elevated, which is wonderful. And again, I have the outfit paired with this gorgeous Amazon tote. Love the fact that it has the cognac straps because that makes it versatile and usable with about any of our neutral outfits. 
Now in this next outfit, I'm going back again to those Levi's 724 high rise straight jeans that I love so much in that light wash. And I again have on that white Uniqlo tee, but wrapped around my shoulders, I have this gorgeous sweatshirt. And it is a cropped sweatshirt from Zara, and I absolutely love this. And I think when you add a sweatshirt or a sweater around your shoulders, it just gives you that slightly upgraded kind of wealthy look. And when you add that little extra layer around your shoulders, it just looks casual and elegant. Now, this next outfit is perfect on those spring or summer evenings where it gets chilly, which happens a lot, actually, even here in Kansas. I, again, have that same outfit with those jeans on and the white t-shirt kind of peeking out from the top of this Zara sweatshirt. I actually purchased this in ivory as well, and here it is so you can see how it looks when it's not around your shoulders, but I absolutely love that. And then on my shoes, I, again, have these great Madewell leather trainers. And I think these are absolutely gorgeous. And I plan to take these on my cruise because in addition to being really pretty, they're very comfortable too. Okay, thank you for watching my video about neutral spring outfits. And if you'd like to see the same video about summer outfits in a neutral format, then please let me know in the comment section below the video because I would love to share that with you. Also, if you would like to see a video about styling trousers, I would love to share that information with you as well because with the baggy trousers, I've really been doing a lot of study to figure out how to wear them effectively. And I think I've come up with some good tips. So let me know again, if you'd like to see that video. And I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And my thought for the day actually comes from a man named Emmett Fox, who has passed on, but he was big and popular in the 20s and 30s. And this is his book, The Golden Key, 22 Additional Essays. And it says additional, and I have not finished this book. I've read a couple of them, which were really, really good. But basically, I read another essay that he did, and I'll link that below, called The Seven Day Mental Diet. The Seven Day Mental Diet. And what Emmett Fox believes is something that I believe too, and I know a lot of you do too, that our thoughts are things. And if we continually have the habit of going around thinking negative thoughts, seeing the glasses half empty, worrying about a future that hasn't happened yet, seeing negative outcomes, then our life will reflect that in a negative sort of way. And so what he says is understanding that, that thought is a habit and that positive thoughts really help our lives. They give us fuel to have a great life. He says, pick a seven day period. And I just started the minute I read the essay. And basically what you do is for seven days, you really try to get in the habit of thinking only positive thoughts. And of course that is not possible because negative thoughts just spring into our head. But what is possible and what he says is to not entertain negative thoughts, to not, to not entertain them, to, to not allow them to come into your house and feed them some coffee or some tea or some alcohol and allow them to stay with you. So basically when you get a negative thought, he's saying immediately recognize that and say, that's not the habit I want and switch it to a positive thought. And so how this works on a practical level is if you think something negative, if you start to worry about a future outcome that's negative, then you catch yourself and you immediately change it to positive. And a second aspect of this is something that's a little harder for me. And that is that if you say something negative about another human being, that is not really very good either because you're putting out that negative energy with all that emotion, talking badly about that person and what we put out comes back to us multiplied, and that's a really scary thought. And I am not a gossiper really with other women for the most part. I really watch that and I'm pretty good about that. But unfortunately with my husband, Alan, I don't have the same good habit. If there is something I want to share about someone else that is kind of a juicy tidbit or it's negative, then I will tell him that. And in fact, last night, I've been on the seven day mental diet for maybe three days now, and it is definitely not possible to do it perfectly but I think I am getting better in a general way of thinking a little more positive. But there was something that I learned yesterday that I wanted to share with him so badly and I resisted the urge and I thought that was really good. So just for today, as we're going through our day, the minute we have a negative thought or want to say something negative about someone else, let's say stop and let's immediately switch that thought or attitude to something positive and or not share that juicy tidbit we learned with another person. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.